Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the post approval flow inside the social media planner. Let's say your business is growing, congratulations, and you are hiring people. Now you've hired a new social media manager, but you want to look over the posts before they get published. I will show you how to do that right now. All right, click on marketing on the left and on social plan at the top, then click plus new post. And you want to create new posts, just select the first one right here. Then we want to create a post real quick. We want to select our account. Then we want to add our content. We want to add an image, our hashtags for sure. So let's click back into the content, click the hashtags. Here you can select your groups. Let's say digital marketing. Let's hit apply. Great. And it pulled all the hashtags which are saved under the group digital marketing. Under advanced options, you can apply a watermark, which is this little flower over here. We're going to leave the rest for now. Now we're going to click the drop down menu here. And we want to hit schedule post for approval. Then we want to select a date. We want to select a time and you want to select the approver. Down here you can add a note. Let's say you have a question about this post. You're not sure about something or you want to add some inspiration or another option. Whatever it may be, you just click add note. Let's say we have a question about the hashtags. Hey, do you think these hashtags work? And then we can click schedule and send for approval. Then right here in the planner, you can see the post has been added, but it's not scheduled yet. It's not failed. It's not published. It's only in review. Now the approval has also received an email and the email looks like this request for post approval. Okay. Here, hey, Tina Demo, we have a new post that needs to be approved. That's the social channel. That's the scheduled date and time been created by and it requires approval for sure. Okay. So this email template can also be edited. I'm going to show you real quick how to do that. You're going to go to marketing, then you're going to go to emails and you're going to go to templates. Then we're going to click on plus new. We're going to click on email marketing templates. Then we want to click on system templates. We want to scroll down a little bit. You see social planner post approval. Okay. Select that. You see, this is exactly the same template as in the email right here. Hit continue. Now we are adding the template. Okay. And here we go. Here we could change the template. Let's click on full width, for example, select the background color pink, for example, let's hit save template and that's it. So post approval. Okay. Next step for this, we want to head back into the social planner, click social planner at the top, click on settings then click on notifications. Then you want to look for request for post approval. This should be turned on and then click edit. And here we can select our email template. Then here you see the post approval template. Let's click that. And you can see the edited template has been pulled and let's hit save changes. Now the next step is to approve or decline the post. So now let's switch to users. So we can look at it from the perspective of the person who will approve the post. Then you want to be sure to go to marketing social planner and click on content and go down to approval. Here you can see the post. Okay. The caption, the media, the date, you see it's pending because you haven't approved it yet. You're the approver. This has been sent by this person on this social channel. Click three dots. You can view it right here. You can edit the post, click on it. And it brings you real quick back to the editor. Let's say we wanted to add a hashtag, add this hashtag, save edits. Let's click the three dots again. Let's click on view. Now you can click approve or reject. Okay. Again, you can see who created this. Who is the approver? In this case, you. This would be a list of all the posts you would have to approve. In this case, only one, of course. And it will show you on which channel it will be published. Let's say we reject it for now because it's just a demo post. Confirm the rejection. Are you sure you want to reject this post? Include a message explaining to the author the reason for their post rejection. Let's just put demo post and let's hit reject. Okay, so now you can see here the status has been changed to rejected. And last but not least, I want to show you how to schedule CSV files and send them out for approval. Let's change the user again back to the social media manager. We want to be back in marketing and planner. And here you can see also the post status has been changed to rejected. Okay. Now let's create a new post. Let's upload from CSV. If you don't have a CSV file just yet, you can download the free sample here, which we did. So let's import that. Let's hit next. Let's select a social account where we would like to publish this. And here we want to check mark sent for approval. Okay. Then we want to select the approver. So click that plus icon here and here we select the demo account and let's create. Now that's in progress, 99% done and it's been sent for review. Let's switch back again to the approver account. Okay, here we are in the approvers account. So we want to make sure that we're under marketing on the left, social plan at the top, then under the content tab and here under CSV file, you can see it is under review. Okay, we're going to click this icon here, review and schedule. And here we have a list of all the posts from the CSV file. There's one error. We're just going to ignore that for now. Just the wrong format of an image which got imported. So we click import posts here. Are you sure you want to import? Click import. Now it's imported the post. It doesn't mean it's approved yet. Okay. Now it's moved this from CSV file to approval. You can see the status has been completed. 
then click on approval at the bottom. And you can see down here, these are the polls, which we just moved from CSV to approval. You click the three dots, you do the same thing again, click view, approve or reject. Of course, you want to click on view and do your things from here, edit the post. If you want to edit something, then click approve or reject. And that's it already. This is how easy you can schedule social media posts for approval. This is how you approve them, reject them or edit them and how you edit your email template for those notifications as well. I hope you like this feature and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.